Yo, oh, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another LEGO Fortnite video. And obviously, in today's video, as you guys can see in the title, we have some brand new game modes for LEGO Fortnite. So for now, we got two brand new game modes. One is LEGO Raft Survival, as you can see on the picture here. And we also have LEGO Obby Fun. Now, if you guys are having trouble finding these game modes, they are in Epic's Picks, and they are also in Community Momentum. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the brand new game modes, but I'm also going to be going over some of the things that were added to regular LEGO Fortnite. But before this video starts, make sure to drop a like and subscribe with that naughty bell on so you get updated whenever I post here on the channel. I would really appreciate it. But without wasting any more time, let's get right into this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Alright, now of course, the first thing we are going to be trying is the fun obby. So obviously, as you can see, we spawn right here. There's a rift. I don't actually know where that takes you. But there's also this music thing. Turn it on and off. I don't really hear anything though. So it could be copyrighted. And then there's just some other designs. But I'm pretty sure this is where the obby starts, of course. And yeah, platform two, okay. Three. And it just keeps on going up. That's kind of cool. So obviously, it's just like an obby. Little parkour map. The platforms move a little bit. Oh wait, this might be the music that actually kicks in. I might want to actually go back. And hopefully not fall off. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that music that was kicking in was this. That is pretty cool. I would like to test out this rift thing. See what happens. Oh, it's a checkpoint. Okay. Well, let's go back to where we were before. Okay, so I made it back. And obviously, it just keeps on going. I don't actually know how many platforms there are. But as you can see on the top... There is a bar telling you how much platforms or what platform you're on. And I made the first checkpoint. Let's go. Big Bricks 1. Okay, so let's move on. I'll just keep on going. But it looks like that's another checkpoint over there. I want to check that out. Hopefully, I don't fall. All right, and I made it. Checkpoint City. I'm assuming I take this rift. Or no, this takes me back. Okay, will this take me back over there? Yeah, perfect. And I just move on to this platform. So there's different themes for each section, of course. So I'm on the city one. You can see, like, it's a street. There's a fire hydrant. All right, I made it to the next checkpoint. It's Friends Skate Park. So, of course, this will take you to the last one. Or no, it just takes you all the way back to the beginning. Okay. Let's move on. This is actually pretty entertaining. I can't lie. It's almost like when Only Up was kind of popping off. And now it's getting a little bit harder. As you can see, the platforms are moving up and down. So that's kind of cool. Alright, I can't even lie, but I've been falling just a little bit, but it seems like I'm back on track. It's a watermelon, ice cream, another watermelon. Is that a sushi roll? So I think what I'm going to do is make it to the next checkpoint, or at least get like 100 platforms. Oh wait, okay, there's the next checkpoint. Alright, well the next one is classic, but there it is. You guys kind of get the point. It's an obby. It's pretty fun if you're just wanting to chill, not play competitive or whatever. Honestly, I don't really see myself playing this game mode much, but it does seem kind of interesting and I can't wait to see what else they have for this whole Lego creative thing. So first up, we are just starting off on this pirate ship here. We got a timer for 50 seconds. We got Brave up in here. There's a shark in there. He's just swimming. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, the shark's about to eat him. That's crazy. Yeah, but here's the pirate ship. Looks pretty cool. There's some pirates on here. But we're just going to wait for this timer to go down, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Now we're on the raft. And let's see. This is the raft survival mode. Okay, here's a chest. I don't know what Braid of got. I think it was like a coin or something. Yeah, I got like... Oh, wait. Is it materials? Oh, we're supposed to build toward the ship, aren't we? Or wave one. Uh-oh. Uh, there's cannons coming right for our raft. And, okay, what do we even do? Hold on, I'm gonna get this chest. I think we have to build, like, more. And try to survive. Wait, Brave, we might have to... Wait, wait, we completed wave one. We might have to go to the ship. Where are we going? I think we have to go over here. Okay, hold on, wave two. I feel like we'd have to go toward the ship, but we can oh, try God. going over here. I'm sorry. What? We're, we're separated. Yeah, I know. I think we should just try to build different ah. ways and see what happens. 
I'm dead. No! Braden's down! I don't even know if I can save him. Can I save him? Wait, you're doing something. Oh, wait, wait. I, I got him. I got him. Okay. We saved Brayden. That's good. Wait, no way. Um, Bad yeah. Poppers. Game over. Okay, hold on. Oh. Team total. So there's a total. I'm so confused on how this works. Are we supposed to go to the ship or what? I'm not even joking. I think this is just a survival game. Like, the whole point is just to survive different waves and see, like, who can get the best score or something like that. Because at the end, there was some summary. All right, me and Brayden have restarted. We're going to try to go different ways and, you know, stretch out the raft. We're already getting a cannon on us. This is fine. Okay, Bra Brayden's back. Please do not hit me. All right, we're good. Okay, wait, wait, you got to get me. Wave one completed, though, so don't let the sharks see me. I know, I'm trying to rebuild our area. Oh my gosh, there's four coming for us. So every time it gets harder, it seems like. And I'm down again, of course. Hold on, Brandon got like some supplies over there. There's bananas and pineapples. I'm sorry. No, no we're good, I'm we're so, good. I'm somewhat trapped. Wave two completed. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try to get to you. Swim over to me, swim over to me. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. Where? Oh my gosh, there's so many. So I don't think these supplies actually do anything for us. They kind of just are here. Oh, please don't hit this one. Okay, we're good. Uh, Brative's stuck right now. I'm going to try to get over to you, Brative. Or build that platform. Can you jump to that? You did. Okay, good. Okay. Wait, wait. Well, let me... I was going to say, wait, let me... Revive. Yeah, I know. When you have a chest like when you get materials you're not able to get your team up so you need to build something before getting your teammate okay wave five let's get this i'm kind of curious how many waves we have because of course the obby was kind of just infinite i believe but we have all these waves and i don't know how much there are but these cannons are missing which is good oh my gosh so. it's getting closer nope yep game over wave five all right well that's the best score that we got I think it's a pretty fun game mode. You know, it's mainly just survival. You got to try to survive and build all these different rafts. I bet you would be better with more people on your team. Honestly, I think it's a fun game mode. So a little bit better than the obby, in my opinion. Now we're going to go into regular Lego Fortnite and test out what's new in there. All right. So obviously there was the raft survival game mode, which I think was pretty cool. But here we are in regular LEGO Fortnite, and we are going to be testing out the brand new fishing mechanic. Now, of course, we also did get some other things, like we got the spyglass, and we also got a compass. So here's the spyglass, obviously, works just like a spyglass, so that's pretty cool. But now we're going to be testing out the fishing. The fishing rod does have a couple different rarities, and it goes up to purple. And, okay, I didn't get anything. Let me try that again. Okay, hold on, I got one. And, no, that's just vines. What the heck? Okay, we got another one. Ooh, there's a flopper. Look at that. Toss. Oh, I tossed it back. Whoops. Okay, hold on. Here's a flopper now. And I don't know how to keep it for myself. Or wait. Okay, so it went into my inventory. So here it is. Orange flopper. Now, you're not able to put it in your hand inventory or anything like that. I'm pretty sure you need to cook it first, which I will show you guys how to do. And I don't actually know how the compass works. We'll equip that and see. And oh, okay, it just adds the compass to the top of your screen. So when you guys are fishing, you guys need to hold it to reel it in. And if you want it in your inventory, you just got to kind of wait until it does that animation and it puts it in your inventory. Fett found a slurp fish and some other floppers. Okay, let's see what we got. So we have the orange flopper, which is just the regular flopper. And then we also have the green flopper and we also have a blue slurp fish. And there is something blue glowing over here. I kind of want to see what that is. Oh, wait, it's a fishing hole. Okay, and then... We'll fish out of here and see if we can find anything good. All right, here we go. And oh my goodness, is that... What is that? Molten spicy fish. Okay. So there is something called the bait bucket. And as you can see, it says, throw this into the water to attract fish. And it comes in different rarities, just like the fishing rods do, as you can see right here. And then here's the fishing rods in different rarities. But I am kind of curious to see how this bait bucket works. So I'm going to throw that in. And oh, okay, I see. 
So that's what forms the different fishing holes for the rarities and stuff. Okay, well, we are in sandbox, and I didn't really realize that we could just look at all the fish here. But here's the huge selection of fish that are out right now. As you can see, we got shield fish. We got the vendetta floppers in here. I don't see any Midas flopper though, but we also got like small fries, jellyfish, all this other stuff. So as you can see, there is the full selection of the fish that you can catch. So of course you can build the food processor and the grill to cook the fish. Now you can't just grill it. You got to put it through the processor first. So I will demonstrate that right now. We'll test out the vendetta flopper because why not? Okay, so it rained, so I had to rebuild everything and build a shack, but we are going to transfer the Vendetta Flopper into here, and obviously it processes it, and you get some stuff, which you can put on the grill. So it gives you Blast Powder, and it also gives you a Fish Filet, so I'll take those for my inventory, and then we'll go on the grill, and of course, the simple Sushi is what you can put on there, and you can also put Smoked Fried Fish. Alright, so I just cooked it. And let's see, is it in the inventory now? Yes, it is. So here it is, simple sushi. Move that into the inventory. We'll eat it. But basically, that's how it works when it comes to cooking fish and all that. All right, so now that we went over fishing, we are going to be going over one of the other newer things, which is the dagger. Now, of course, you can eliminate people with it if you have that friendly teammate fire on and brain have got me, of course. I would also like to test this out on some animals. So we're going to be getting some animals in here and... We'll test it out. We're also going to test it out on the Brute. I know it's going to go terrible, but we'll just see. All right, here's the first animal. Let's hit it. So it doesn't really do much damage, as you can see. Okay, here, we'll, we'll test it on a wolf now. So as you can see, it really doesn't do much damage. Oh, on the wolf, it does a little bit better. Okay. All right, here's a sheep right here, and it just one-shotted it. Okay. Here is a Brute. Now, of course, I'm going to get shredded here. Yep, and there we go. Now, another thing that wasn't in LEGO Fortnite when it first came out was launch pads. So you can now build a LEGO launch pad. And of course, I'm just assuming that it works just like a launch pad. Yeah, except I think you have to have a glider in order to deploy it. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, works just like a launch pad. There's the glider. All right, well, there you guys have it for all the LEGO updates and the brand new game modes. The brand new game modes, I cannot wait to see what else they decide to do with that whole LEGO creative thing. But I think it was pretty cool. As I said, my favorite was the Raft Survival. The Obby was okay. It was a little bit fun, but I feel like I'd get bored of it kind of quick. And obviously, fishing was a great addition to LEGO Fortnite. I like the daggers as well. They are a little bit weak against some things, but they are pretty useful. But there you guys have it for my LEGO Fortnite update video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe with that on your to get updated whenever I post it on the channel. But once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.